ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant is the only sealant FDA approved and clinically proven to treat air leaks and reduce hospital length of stay. ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant is a single-use device intended for application to visceral pleura after standard visceral pleura closure with, for example, sutures or staples of visible air leaks incurred during resection of lung parenchyma. For full prescribing information regarding ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant, ProGel Applicator Spray Tips, or ProGel Extended Spray Tips, including indications, effects, routes, methods, frequency, and duration of administration, and any relevant warnings, contraindications, side effects, adverse events, and precautions, please view the information included at the end of the video, as well as the instructions for use included with each product. ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant Instructions for Use, Part 1. Kit Setup Each unit of ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant contains two separate kits, an applicator kit and a chemistry kit. Each kit is provided as a double peel pack tray for easy introduction into the sterile field. When assembled and mixed, these kits will prepare a total volume of 4 milliliters of sealant. The ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant Applicator Design allows for quick and easy setup in a matter of minutes. To highlight a few of the key steps in the setup process, use the ProGel Rules of Two as a guide. The applicator kit contains a dual-barrel applicator housing, a locking push rod, two standard spray tips, a 5-milliliter vial of sterile water, and a 3-milliliter syringe with a pre-attached needle. The chemistry kit contains two cartridges, one preloaded cartridge containing two milliliters of processed human serum albumin, or HSA, and one preloaded cartridge containing a dried white powder called polyethylene glycol, or PEG. The PEG is the cross-linking component. In a controlled room temperature environment and using aseptic technique, Open the applicator and chemistry kits into the sterile field. Step 1. Using the syringe provided, draw 2 milliliters of sterile water. Please note that the entire volume of sterile water will not be used. The syringe provided is clearly marked at the 2 milliliters level to indicate the appropriate volume of sterile water to be used. Step 2. Inject the 2 milliliters of sterile water into the cartridge containing the white powdered peg. Step 3. Mix the water and peg by gently rocking the cartridge from end to end. When all of the powder is dissolved, the solution is ready for use. Mixing of the peg solution is generally complete after 2 minutes of mixing. Once mixed, the peg solution must be used within 20 minutes. Do not use the rehydrated crosslinker after 20 minutes, as the performance of the sealant may be compromised. Step 4. Do not attach the spray tip yet. With the applicator housing pointed upward, load the HSA and PEG cartridges. The cartridges may be loaded into either of the twin chambers. Gently press the ends of each cartridge to seat it into place. When properly loaded, the cartridges should sit flush with the end of the applicator housing. Step 5. Do not attach the spray tip yet. Point the applicator housing straight up to allow any air in the chemistry cartridges to rise to the top. Insert the locking push rod into the openings in the rear of the cartridges. The push rod will snap into place when properly engaged. Please note that the ProGel push rod is designed to lock into the applicator housing. Forced removal of the locking push rod from the applicator housing may result in potential damage to the applicator system or the chemistry cartridges. Step 6. With the tip of the applicator pointed upward, briskly flick the applicator to free any air bubbles. Express the air by gently but firmly pushing up on the push rod until the stoppers in each cartridge are aligned with one another. Take care to express as little fluid as possible during this process. Step 7. Wipe the applicator tip with clean sterile gauze to remove any liquid that may have been expressed with the air. 
Avoid mixing of components. Do not wipe from one cartridge opening across to the other. Wipe each opening separately. Step 8. Attach a spray tip to the applicator housing by placing the tip on the applicator and rotating it clockwise one quarter turn until locked into place. Each ProGel kit includes two applicator spray tips. As an alternative to the standard spray tips included in the ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant Kit, a 16 cm and a 29 cm ProGel extended spray tip are available for purchase separately. ProGel extended spray tips are intended to provide an additional delivery option when used as indicated to deliver ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant during open thoracotomy, video assisted, or robotic assisted thoracic surgery. The ProGel Plural Air Leak Sealant Kit is now ready for use.